uh, in this, this quarter's uh, English 102 online. This is what I look like. Um, you'll be seeing more of me in more videos uh, later in the quarter. I'm going to, this is a quick, I'm going to go through a quick um, PowerPoint presentation here to give you an overview of the basic things, the basic um, blocks uh, that this class is going to be sort of made of, the basic activities that you'll be called upon to do. Okay, and so here, and here is that, here is that slideshow. Okay, now, um, oh, so welcome to English 102 with Mr. White. All right, um, I'm Mr. Lawrence White, that's me. Um, I'm adjunct faculty here at TCC. My office is in building 18, room 202. Um, if you want to meet in real life, message me and we can schedule an appointment. Uh, so, and I, my general availability time would be between like 8.30 in the morning to 2.30 in the afternoon. So it's a pretty wide range. If, if for some reason you want to talk in real life, I'd love to, I love people in real life a lot. Um, and so I, I can definitely meet with you folks five days a week, okay? Um, I've been teaching at TCC for more than 10 years, and I love teaching composition, so I love teaching this class, okay? Um, this presentation, this slideshow here, is about what I will ask you to do. So these are the things I'm going to be asking you to do this quarter. These are the things you're going to have to do in order to get a good grade in the class. You're going to have to do well to get a good grade in the class. It's your responsibility, however, to know how to do it. And that I'm saying in terms of Canvas, okay? These things that I'm asking you to do, you are responsible for knowing how to do them in Canvas. I'm not going to ask you to do anything that's impossible to do, um, given you know, most usual um, softwares and configurations. So it's your responsibility to know how to do it. You have to make sure that you take advantage of all the Canvas training opportunities presented to you, okay? So the Canvas school here has got a lot of tutorials and such that will tell you how to do the Canvas stuff. You're responsible for knowing how to take advantage of those tutorials and knowing how to do things, okay? Now, uh, how do you know what it is that I want you to do, okay? There are two main ways two ways that you know what to do. The main way is going to be in the modules, okay? So every week there's going to be a new module opening up uh, for the class, and all of the um, discussions and assignments for that week are going to be in that module, okay? So that's, you just basically go through the module, and that'll cover everything uh, that you need to do. Do all the things in the module, and you'll be just fine. Um, another way you'll know, you can know, you can refer to as the syllabus. And in the back of the syllabus, there will be a, a, a sort of a rough schedule posted. Um, they're doing portal uh, work this morning, and it's going to last all day. So I don't know if I'm going to get the syllabus posted um, by the time the portal goes down, but um, I should uh, do it later this evening. So it should be before midnight tonight. You should get the um, syllabus available also, and that will have a schedule in the back. Okay, now there's the main thing, this is a writing class, so the main thing are the writings. Um, in this class you will write a one two-page practice paper in the format of your choice. This is, I'm not going to grade it for um, writing quality or anything like that, it's going to be part of your um, activity grade, participation grade, and it'll just be a way for me, you to get a, a, me to get a sense of what your writing is like, and you to get a sense of what my um, reading is like, what kind of things I'm looking for from your writing. So it'll be a, a good introduction between the, the two of us, okay? Uh, you'll write one three-page research survey in APA format with four sources, one six-page positions paper in MLA format with six sources, and then finally, uh, one four to six-page persuasion paper in MLA format with eight sources. Okay, that's a fair amount of work. I mean, looking at that, I can see that's, that you're just looking at it at first glance, that can seem really intimidating. However, um, one of the things that I'm willing to do is you can write um, these papers on the same topic, okay? Uh, so you can, now the papers are dramatically different, so you're going to have to rewrite um, the paper each time because each, each paper has sort of very specific, very different expectations. However, your research can can roll over, okay? So the research you did in the research survey, the sources you used can be also used in the positions paper, and then those sources from the positions paper can also be used in the persuasion paper if you stay with the same topic. Um, and if anyone 
if anyone needs help wanting to work out a topic or choose, you know, carefully choose a topic ahead of time that you'll be able to use throughout the quarter, um, I'm, I, I, I have no problem. I love working individually with students on topics, so message me um, for any questions you have on your topic. Okay? Um, drafts. For all writings except the practice paper, you will turn in a draft, which I will comment on, then you will revise and turn in as the paper and get the paper grade on. Okay? And I make extensive comments on drafts. Now, this leads to one issue, though, online. To get the full benefit of my comments, you have to upload the submission correctly. So you have to know how to upload the file correctly. Uh, I make comments, and I've had problems in the past with this. I make comments on the paper and on the side of the paper. So there's a, 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 a the, the speed grader thing that is in Canvas. I can make comments directly on the paper, on the file, as it were. But then I also make some comments off to the side. Some students are not necessarily familiar with how to read the comments on on the paper that are made directly on the paper and some t they don't even bother to try to read the paper the comments on the paper and they don't um, they don't f upload it in a way so you know the, there's a formatting incompatibility and I can't make the comments directly on the paper so to get the full benefit of my my comments you're gonna have to upload the files correctly and you're gonna have to know how to read um, the comments again that's something that the uh, Canvas tutorials can help you with. Um, each there'll be each of the writing assignments, uh, practice paper, research report, positions paper, persuasion paper are divided into unit. At the beginning of each unit, there will be an announcement listing all the assignments for that unit. So that's another way you get told, you get given a heads up of what's expected for you. So basically, the three main units are rough take roughly three weeks or so, and at the start of that three week period, you'll get an announcement that'll tell you what you're going to be doing writings wise for the next three weeks okay in addition to the writings there will be lots of discussions okay um, those of you who are familiar with canvas know what the discussions about okay some of these will be discussions proper about a uh, reading so we're going to do a bunch of readings mostly in the crucius and um, mostly in the crucius and we'll have you know I'll ask uh, I'll do a, a prompt question at the start of the discussion You'll respond to my prompt. I'll ask you to respond to what other students have said. Uh, I will wade into um, discussions and respond to what you guys have said. Um, and, and so we'll be a lot of sort of back and forth. And that, I think, is, in some ways, I think that's the funnest part of the online class. And my experience has been very good with these in the past. I think these are a lot of fun. Um, some of these discussions, though, will be what you might call an exercise. Uh, there'll be short writing things that I ask you to do. Um, grammar mechanics exercises where I explain punctuation, stuff like that. Um, exercises about format, etc. Okay. Now, with all these discussions, you will have a minimum of 72 hours availability to participate in them. Okay. So, a minimum of three days, a window of three days to participate in the discussion, which I think should be more than enough. After that time, however, you cannot post. Okay. So, once the availability is closed, there's no making up. Um, previous discussions so don't get don't don't space out for a week or so because you'll miss out on some activities points okay there will be um, some short quizzes uh, one on the syllabus and others on the readings uh, these of course will be open book because you're at home and how can I keep track of whether you're looking at it actually no no I want them to be open book I want you to be able to look through the book and work uh, answer the, the quiz they're also going to be available for a minimum of 72 hours three days and they also cannot be made up after they are closed. So once you miss the window of the 72 hours, three days, there's no making them up. Okay, in addition to um, these things, there will be um, ways that I get information to you um, through, the, through the Canvas. Uh, one is announcements. Okay, I'm going to make announcements throughout the quarter um, on the Canvas, um, and they'll be, you know, tell you like for example unit assignments and things like that maybe something comes up I try to announce you know if I made a video or something like that I announce that basic stuff like that okay another important way that I get information is this thing that you're you're listening to watching right now are videos okay um, and there's two ways that we do the videos uh, one is uh, Tegrity for now okay that's Tegrity directly through the canvas but I say for now because we're we're switching vendors. No, we're not going to be on Tegrity anymore. But the question is, when is Tegrity going away? Someone told me oh, any day now. 
that seems to me a little bit ambitious. But at some point throughout this quarter, the videos will no longer be on Tegrity, but they'll still be available through the Canvas, whatever format they're in. However, I also upload the videos to YouTube, okay, which I think is easier for most people um, to look at. I've got a YouTube channel, and you can get those there. I will send out announcements every time there's a new video on the Tegrity and on the YouTube. Okay, um, Then I'll do files throughout the quarter, and these files will have um, information on them. Uh, punctuation rules, um, uh, the paragraph paragraphing information. There's a particular model of paragraph I'm going to want you to use in this class, and I'm going to have a number of files that explain ex in detail exactly what I mean, what I, uh, what this, you know, exactly what this paragraph model looks like, what I'm going to be expecting you guys in your paragraphs. Okay, um, and then the the other important way that I communicate you guys is messaging through the canvas, okay, and I can message you guys individually. That's a great way to communicate with me, but you can also email me directly through your TCC email account. And this, we, we want to do, everything works best if you mail my TCC account from your TCC account. That's, things are, things are happiest that way. Sometimes if people email me from other outside account, outside, you know, email addresses, it gets thrown in my spam. I try to carefully look at, I get a spam filter report every couple days, and I try to carefully look at that to catch any student emails that might have gotten thrown into the spam, but I can't guarantee you 100% that I'm going to catch everything that that's happened to. So the best way to prevent trouble is to go from your uh, TCC email account to my TCC email account. Okay? Uh, if you have any questions at this point, then messaging me would be great. Um, I'm looking forward to the quarter. I'm very excited about all this, and I hope you guys um, have a good time as well. It's a good a time you can have taking a composition class. And, but most importantly, that you guys all learn a lot about writing papers for school.